in the moon. And their belly is in the moon. Hello everyone, this is Father and Son MTG. And today we're going to be unboxing an Eternal Masters Booster Box. We were very lucky to pick this up for MSRP at our local game store, or one of our local game stores. But too much talk. Let's open the booster box now. Action. Okay. Time for the unboxing. In case you don't know, Eternal Masters is different from other sets because it's only 24 packs a box and packs are $9.99 each. So, without further ado, let's get started. You know what, taking too long. Pack one. Necrotal, Animate Dead, uh, Honden of Cleansing Fire, and a Maze of Ith. Nice way to start out our box. So, Maze of Ith um, is a land. It does not tap for mana. Taps to untap target attacking creature. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by that creature this turn. So that is a pretty good start to our box. For those of you who don't know, it's a $25 card right there. Some of the pack, Annihilate, Gaia's Blessing, Malicious Affliction. And a foil, Timber Watch Elf. Uh, Be Beetleback Chieftain, yeah, Chief, oh, Chief, Brawn, ooh, Brainstorm, oh, and our first Mythic, Maelstrom Wanderer, okay, um, so it's five and Teamer for a seven five with creatures you control of haste, and it has ca double Cascade, so you Cascade twice, and a Foil, Tranquil Cove. Shaman of the Pack, Timber Watch Elf, Mesa Enchantress, ooh, Wrath of God. So, four mana destroy all creatures they can't regenerate. Pretty straightforward. Then I foil Keldon Marauders. Honden of Life's Web, Honden of Night's Reach, and Worn Power Stone, and Call the Skybreaker. Ooh, and a Foil Rayer, Future Sight. So, Foil Future Sight. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library. Pretty good, except five mana for that. Hmm, not the best. Okay, Centaur Chieftain, MSI, MSI Tomb, War Priest of Thune, and another Mythic! 
Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Okay. Uh, five mana and Esper for a 6-6. Six, six. Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, Protection from Red and Green. Okay. Kind of disappointed in our first two Mythics. But, oh. Our foil in that pack was a Undying Rage. Okay, not very happy with those first two Mythics. And you usually only get two to three a box, so... Ooh. Blood Bright Elf. Uh, Mindless Automaton. Honda of Night's Reach. Nevin Rawls uh, Disc. Nevin Rawls Disc enters the battlefield tapped. Pay one and tap it. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Pretty crazy card. Oh. And we also got a counter spell. Uh, Burning Vengeance, Brawn, uh, Taking Nose, and ooh, fo another Foil Rare also, but first, Giant Solifuge, and a Foil Jareth Leon and Titan. Not the best of Foil Rares. Juggernaut, um, Prismatic Lens, Ancestral Mask, and Icarid, and a Foil Werebear. Foil Werebear might be worth something. Don't think so, though. And then all... Oh, this token's printing is off. It's kind of bent. Okay. Uh, get to Singer, Price of Progress, and Senjir Autocrat, and a Xanted Swarm. And they foil Liz Alana Huntmaster. Juggernaut. Ooh, Chain Lightning. And Days. And Mother of Runes. Nice. That was a nice pack right there. Mother of Runes. Tap. Um, tap it. Target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. So, one white mana for a one win. That does that. Pretty sweet rare. Uh, Necrotal, Extract from Darkness, Progital Sorcerer, and um, Inkwell Leviathan. Um, it is a 9 mana 7 11. Island Walk, Trample, and Shroud. And then we have a Foil uh, Torment of Souls. Squadron Hawk. Oh, Curd Ape's cool. Um, Burning Vengeance. Roar of the Worm. Gaia's Blessing. Ooh, Heritage Druid. That's a nice one. Um, yeah. So, one green mana, one one. Tap. 
um, three untapped elves you control, add three green to your mana pool. And then a foil firebolt. Uh, Wirewood Symbiote, Faith's uh, Fetters, Intangible Virtue, Vampiric Tutor! Oh my god. Okay, that's our third Mythic of the Box. Probably won't have any more. Vampiric Tutor, one black mana, search your library for a card, then put that... Oh, then shuffle your library, then put that card on top of it. <laughs> That is the best of all of the tutors printed in 7th edition and um, Mirage. I think they printed Venture Tutor in Mirage. I don't know. I don't know much about Legacy and stuff. Ooh, Swords to Plowshares. Um, Invigorate. Yeah, Invigorate. Thunderclap Wyvern. And a Goblin Trenches Foil Tidal Wave. So far, this box is looking alright. We got some pretty good pulls. And we still have a lot of packs left. Um... Honden of Life's Web, Factor Fiction, um, Sprite Noble, and Eight and a Half Tales. Bending them though. Comfort spell. Another swords to plowshares. Armadillo cloak. Um, tor torrent of souls and a sensei's dividing top. Oh my god. Sensei's dividing top. Banned in modern because it was so powerful. And now it is a legacy staple. And a commander staple. Okay. One mana artifact. Pay one mana, look at the top three cards of your library, put them back in any order. Tap it to draw a card, then put Sensei's Divining Top on top of its own owner's library. What a pretty amazing card. And I was really hoping to get one in this box for my EDH deck. Okay, Invigorate, Keldon Champion. Wall of Omens? I guess that's okay. And then Sulfuric Vortex. Hmm. Okay. Two, um, one and two red. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, Sulfuric Vortex deals two damage to that player. If a player would gain life, that player gains no life instead. Pretty good um, commander or multiplayer. Then Wake of the, Wake of Vulture. And then, oh. Yeah, now I re And then... So, there is... These are... These weird miscut kind of tokens. Um, this is like the puzzle. This is Eternal Master's puzzle on the back of tokens. Check it out. I think we're down to our final six after this one. Field of Souls, Annihilate, Liz, Alana, Scrabblade, Scrab, Scarblade, okay. And then in Isocorn Scepter, the Foil Mana War. I think that's like a money foil. 
Probably. Okay, final six. Oh, wait, final five. Oops. Uh, Battle Squadron? Ooh, him to Torak. Uh, Zealous Persecution. Crater Helion. The Foil Nausea. Ooh, Back Fade and Emblem. That's nice. Maybe we can get a fourth mythic and get a Dak Faden to go with that. I hope. Counter spell. Extract from darkness. MSI tomb. Wonder. Sneak attack! Fourth mythic. That's better, probably better than, um, Dak Faden. Okay, awesome card. Okay, three in a red, and you may, it's an enchantment. Pay one red, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. That is the card for legacy, sneak attack, and show and tell strategy. Get your Emrakul out, attack with it, sack it, it shuffled into your library, and you take another turn. Uh, Keldon Champion. Flamekin Zealot. Quiet Speculation. And a Dual Caster Mage. And a Foil White Main Lion. Ah! Okay, down to our last two. Hope there's some good pulls in these. Some better rares. Haven't gotten many good rares in this box. Factor Fiction, Victimize, Hydroblast, Braids Cabal Minion. Okay. Two and two black. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices an artifact, creature, or land. It's a two-two. And a foil war priest of thin. Okay. Final pack. Can we get something amazing in the final pack? Okay. Tooth and claw. Rancor, that's good. Uh, Pyroblast, that's good. And Arcanus, the Omnipotent. Hmm. Okay. Three and three blue. Um, two. For a three, four, tap it, draw three cards. Pay two and two blue, return it to its owner's hand. And a foil Mistral Charger. Okay, overall, I think that was a pretty good box. Let's go over our nice pulls. Uh, let's see. Sneak attack. Uh, uh, I think Man of War? That might be. Oh. Mm. Okay, they're better. So. Ah, this is annoying. You know what? Sneak attack, mana war, <gasps> sensei's divining top, vampiric tutor, and mythics. of our box right there then we got some pretty good commons and uncommons too like Kim to Torak, Wall of Romans, Swords to Publishers, Brainstorm, Prodigal, Sorcerer, all kinds of stuff. Oh that was a pretty good box. Goodbye everyone. 
We'll hopefully see you for an Eldridge Moon opening. Okay. So, since we opened the Eternal Masters booster box, which if you haven't seen, you should go see now. Um, we have made, we have all of the ad cards and tokens here, and on the back side of them, there's this puzzle thing, like they're half words and stuff. And in the booster box video that we opened, I actually thought they were miscut things, but they're part of the puzzle. So we can identify the edge pieces like this one because there's no text on two sides. And based on that, we have the entire bottom row, which is 11 cards wide. We know it's at least four high because... And we have, yeah, we have some matching cards here, five cards in the second row from the bottom. And then we have a top row starting from the right. We do have the corner piece up here. And it goes all the way over to here. And these two cards don't match up with these two. So it must be at least four rows high, maybe more. We don't really know. And we can read the text across the entire bottom row. I think I figure out how this works now. Three citizens. When you feel asleep, la when you fell asleep last night, so you read this way and this way. Marquesa the Black Rose, first of her name, head of the council, guarantor of lawful and governance, governance soul. Well, reading the bottom here, free citizens of Palano. This is, it's hard to line these Three up. Three citizens of pa Paliano. Pa when you fall asleep, no, 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 when you fell. I think it goes this way. Beneath the bloodstained banner, you, you too choose between loyalty to... Oh, no, you're right. It does go that way. Because yeah. it would be choose between loyalty to, to the crown that? and loyalty to your city. So I guess we can't read those really without having the others <gasps> in that direction. I know exactly what this means. What does it mean? This puzzle is for the second, um, it's like a hint slash spoiler thing to the second conspiracy set, Loyalty to the Crown. This set is called Take the Crown. Um, conspiracy 2 is called Take the Crown. Uh -huh. Well, I guess you have to open a few booster boxes if you want to be able to solve this puzzle completely. Or we can just draft a ton and get people's ad cards. <laughs> Alright, well... That's MTG, father and son, signing off. Goodbye, everyone.